Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. Alright, so we got the other something finished up in the last video. I have no idea what, but I had a couple of more um, other ones to make so that we would have five. So I went ahead and did those and I, I did do them wrong again for the fourth and fifth time. Um, but anyway, these are still cute. They're still going to work. So this is our five. So we are going to add them to our little basket here. So let's see. Where can we put these? Maybe right there. Okay. So it is getting kind of full, guys. Um, so I have absolutely no plans for this video. I just reached over and turned it on. Um, let's see. So that's going to be a pocket over the page. I actually made this, guys, um, in a collaboration <laughs> with Sherry and um, at Turquoise Dreaming and Maria at Maria's Miscellany. This is like a couple of weeks back. Um, let's see. But the prompt was to make a pocket and you had to use your scraps. So, I took um, one of the little half sheet pieces that come in the front of um, cardstock that you buy at like Hobby Lobby and Michaels. I think Michaels. Um, so, I took it and folded it in half and then collaged and then decorated. And my thinking is, oh, you know what, guys, we can go ahead and possibly start sewing in some signatures maybe oh you know what I got uh, papers in from Jovi so I need to um, actually pick out some of those papers to go in here so it's kind of like over the page pocket so you put it on like that and then you've got a pocket on this side and then you flip it and you got a pocket on the other side so yeah, that was my thinking there. Who knows? I don't even know if we'll use it. I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so we have that. So let's see. Um, yeah, I guess we need to... We need to do something. We'll see what we're going to do. And Timmy does have his own cart now, guys. See, I had a subby. He wanted me to do this one first, but I have not even picked out the papers for this one yet. I was actually going to leave it for last. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do this one, I think. Yep, let's do that. Okay. So, what we are going to do... Let's get this out of the way. Um, so yeah, I had quite a few weeks back went to Joey's shop and she had some glorious dyed papers in there that I thought would be good. Am I on camera? I'm not sure what's going on. Um, for our journals, uh, Halloween grungy music sheet bundle. How fun. So yeah. These are going to let good in there. So let's get out one of those. And then let's sneak. Um, let's go ahead for one of those. Ooh. One of those. Oh, look at that one. Like that one. And then let's go. I got the yellow too. See that right there feels more card stocky. Yep, let's do that one. Alright, so we'll do those because I've had these out over here waiting. Just waiting around it was. 
See, that's Tom Worms putting it in the bag. So we'll set those there. So let's go ahead and get these folded. Gosh, look how pretty that is. Absolutely love it. And then this one. And then our music sheet. Let's see. Let's do it about there. Yeah, and then we'll fold this side in. All right, so let's see. I've got a bag there waiting. Let's see where we want to put these in here. How about here right off the bat? Oh, yes. And then here. And then, let's see, it's green, possibly here, then our music sheet, let's do it here. All right. There we go. So, we need to... Gosh, that's a lot of pages. Let's see. About there. Yeah, it's going to be a fatty by the time we get... Because I'm thinking, guys, like... Um, what was I thinking? Um, six pieces of... Excuse me. Six things in the front, six things in the back. So that's whether it's pocket tucks, belly bands, whatever, six and six. So that's 12. So that's going to fatten that up real good. I'm trying to think whether I should maybe cut down the edges on some of these just a tad. I guess it would just be this one. Let's see. these hopefully those aren't too thick all right now let's get center back mm. I need this down just a tad. Do not like doing this part. This is the part I just like the most. Okay, so This works. And then just a teeny tad on these. Okay. Oh, of course I cut that, but that's okay. That was only flipped over because it was long anyway. Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, don't want that in the floor. I just straightened up. Or tried to, anyway. Halfway straight. No, nah, I didn't really straighten up. I think I just picked one piece of paper by the floor. Not sure that that constitutes cleaning up. Okay, so we're going to bind this. We're going to need our book binding kit. Um, this beautiful bag here was handmade for me by Denise over at Window Bar Crafts. I'm always doing that. Grab a hold of it, the wrong part. Okay, we're going to need our all. We're going to need four clips. We're going to need our needles. And, yeah, I'm going to do that dark. Yep. So, this is all we need out of here. Let's see. Should get it. And this uh, book binding kit, you can get them off of Amazon. Um, Alright, so let's make sure. Oh, my book cradle. Hold on, guys. 30 second dance party. Alright, I'm back. Not even 30 seconds. Party's over with. Okay, um, this is my cradle. Excuse me, my cradle. And this came from Amy over at Crafty Cat. She does have these for sale in her shop. They make them with a 3D printer. Uh, very reasonably priced. So go over there and get you one of those. Alright. I mean, it's the best investment I ever made, to be honest with you, with um, sewing in the signature not really being my thing. And I still can't believe I'm going to do it on camera. Okay, so I'm just going to go through, guys, and just make sure that all of my pages are sitting where I want them to because there's a lot of different size papers in here. This is Amy's kit over at Crafty Kit. Okay. Gosh, I love that paper. Yeah, I'll bring that up. That up. There's our music sheet. Bring that up. That's about halfway. Bring that one up. it up a little bit that one up and then our middle of our signature okay there we go I think that's about right And I'll probably knock some of them down that I just, yeah, moved up. Oh, well. You know, if you want perfection in a perfect journal, you know, just, I mean, I hate to say it, don't ever buy one of mine because I'll never make a perfect journal without flaws. It's just not going to happen. And I am perfectly okay with that. Oh. Um, but I do understand that journals cost a lot of money, and it is a huge investment. Um, I have, you know, purchased quite a few journals myself, and let's see. Some were pretty expensive. It was something that I decided to do for myself. You know, I went through those. I didn't even make sure none of them were upside down. I think we're good, though. Yeah, we're good. Um, yes, I treated myself to some, um, which, you know, is what I spend my spending money on. That and journaling supplies. 
Okay, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it in here and do them all at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's what I spend my money on. And I understand they're really, really expensive. But, I mean, I just, you know, have lots and lots of flaws. Um, and there's always going to be flaws in my journal. Okay, so I got all my pages put together. I went ahead and put it in. Um, my cover and now you just sit it down in there and then decide uh, if you want to be precise and all that you could go in and measure it and see I'm not going to do all that mess um, feel free to do so if that's the way you want it done but we're just going to pop it down in there and we're going to kind of hold it together some but first and please forgive me if I get my fat head in this I'm just going to eyeball it and see about where my middle is and then just punch that through there then come down and go about an inch from the bottom about give or take you know probably lots of centimeters and millimeters and all them other things and then I just push it all the way through it once that's done I do take it out and push my all um, back through the holes pushing it out making sure you see it coming out there making sure that I'm getting good holes there that way I can get my needle through there better okay so we're done with those and now we're gonna take this and we're gonna go three links of the journal pages um, not the cover the journal pages because they are not two and three um, I leave a little bit more which at three you're still gonna get some that's gonna hang down especially if you want to put uh, charms on there all right so we do that and then we're just gonna thread this through here Um, yep we got it okay all right so the next thing we're going to do is go through the middle hole here and we're going to leave a bit in here to hold on to and then we're going to go through the bottom hole and through the bottom there all right then we're going to go back through the middle hole but you want to hold this down when you stick it in there uh, because you don't want to split the thread you want to go to the top of it if you split your thread then you're not going to be able to tighten up your signature and then it's going to be wobbly and loose and all that junk which we don't want okay good job there so we go back through there and then we're gonna go through the top hole if you can't see it because you're blind as a bat like me then just um, feel for it There we go. Then we are going to go. Did I miss that? I sure did. So, went to the side of that. So, easy peasy. Another reason why I don't generally do this on camera, but hey, the struggle's real. This is what I go through. So, there we go. Thread that back. Don't want to pull that all the way out but I need to be able to see there we go we got it that time then we're gonna go through the top hole 
and now I'm just pulling everything to tighten it up is all I'm doing get a hold of it back there and pull through here and pull okay so now you want to take this one and put it through here so I've got this one going that way going to come over the top of it and pull that through there and then you've got them like that so I do like to hold on to these two fairly tightly and just start pulling to get it tight because you want it tight on that spine Okay, and then I just take this and we will do a double knot. So what I normally do is one time and then I unclip my clips and then I finish tightening it up. And if you need to, um, you know, undo that to be able to re-tighten it, then you can do that. Um, what I do because it is the wax thread is take your needle and put it under there and you'll be able to get that knot out All right, I didn't even I'm glad it wasn't upside down guys because I didn't even look Okay, so I think that's gonna be good And you can get your signature. Oh Yeah, that's good and tight wiggle it just pull it up and down like this jiggle it give it a jiggle jiggle that's what I do anyway to make sure it's tight and then I do my double knot I have had to take out double knots before and they are not easy so if you'll see down here at least on one it's still long enough to put a charm on there if you wanted to alright guys so this is Tim Holtz journal number one signature is sewn in and I did a pretty good job on that if I do say so myself awesome oh Okay, what do we want to do now, guys? Um, did I put the needle back up? Now I'm getting excited. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, what? No, I didn't put the needle back up. See? Put it all together. Put it in the bag so that I have it and I don't lose anything because you guys know I can lose some stuff. <coughs> okay. So we said we wanted six and six. So that's 12. No, we may do, because I put extra pages in. So I'm afraid if we do six or six, we're going to have a gator mouth. Um, let's do, let's do five and five and see what, gosh, I love that grungy. Look at that. Mm, I love it. Oh my gosh. Just eat it up. Okay, so let's do, um, put that over there. All right, so let's see about picking out at least five and five, maybe. All right, because all of this is not pockets. A lot, I mean, a lot of it can be used as a pocket. Um, let's see what was that? This was our little pullouts, and you know, we were making like five of everything. So if I wanted one of these on each side of the signature we're gonna have to make a whole lot more stuff guys and I'm sure you guys are getting sick of watching me make Tim Holt stuff right okay oh well so I'm thinking on this one I'm gonna pocket so let's go on this one And do this. Yep. Okay, so we got that one there. And then we could do this one here. Yep. We'll do that. Okay. So we'll just slide those in there. So that's one. Okay, let's go back to here. Stop skipping stuff. Okay, we're probably going to have to make pockets and stuff, guys, because 
I know we made, see there's tags, tag booklet, there's a pocket. How many of these did we make? One. Are you serious? Um, there's a bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick out one of these. That one for that one. Let's see, those are belly bands. It is also a pull out. Oh, heaven's sakes. Yep, guys, we're seriously going to have to make. Oh, we have this. Let's see. Okay, I think this one for that journal. So we have that. Oh, then we have these grungy pockets. That one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three, four. So we kind of need one more of something. Let's see. I wonder if we want to do that as a side something. I don't know. So there's that one. We have those. But I don't really think e any of those are grungy enough. Let's see. We have that. We can do that. We could probably go ahead and do that too. Oh yeah guys, we gotta make lots more stuff. Lots, lots more stuff. We don't have anywhere near enough stuff. Okay, so we have these as well. That we could put on something. I think I like that one. So we have that one. Then we have those, one of those, that is not a pocket, oh that can go, we've already got one of those, okay guys, yeah, we gotta make lots more stuff, we need to make some more of these. We didn't make very many of those. I wonder why. Yeah, I need to get some get to making some things like that. Because we have all these things, but they're to actually put in pockets. And tags and stuff. I want to make some more of these, but these are like... Yeah, I need to make another one of those. It's not grungy enough for this journal. And those. Okay. So, let's go ahead and let's see where we are. Where are we time-wise? Okay, here's what we're going to do, guys. So, we are actually at 30 minutes. Um, so, what I'm going to do is take a look at some more of those pockets and stuff in there. We're still going to use these now. Don't get me wrong. Um, okay, so that there. One, two. Um. All right, hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. It was sneezing time. So one, two, three. Um, here. Don't we go for this here? These right here would be quick and easy with book page. 
so we may make some more of these at a book page yep I like that so that'll go there so that's one two three okay one two three four okay so one more as far as pockets it's, oh well that's good because we're like seriously at the end of the signature right here so we could do that there and you could still get that out there um, and then we have so we could put that there this black can play off of there yeah oh we have this sack I was going to decorate no I was thinking about that for something else um, yeah so we definitely have to make more stuff um, that's all there is to it so we need something for this one and there, all the rest of them in here okay so I'm going to have to get to making guys that is all there is to it because we still need what four more things three more things three more things for this side yep because we only have two so we'll need those and then this we can put like one in the back and one in the front of the signature so we could just pop that there and in the front we could do it on that same sheet, right? Which sheet is that? This one? No. It's this one. We could do this one on here. Oh, those are too cute. Look at that. I really like that. We could do that there. Okay, I need to get to making some stuff. And you are going to live in here. And these will probably just be put in there loose, guys. And not, you know. Okay. Or maybe we could just do that because, yeah. Alright guys, so we are going to call that a video and I am going to just, you know, get to making. I may do a couple of mask makes on some things and then you and I could come in and just decorate them um, or something like that. But yeah, hello, I'm not even in, on camera. What are you doing? Okay, um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for putting up with my nonsense. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so, so much for your support. I appreciate that as well and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.